Greetings programs, today's video is 10 goalie tips to make you play better in EA NHL. So I see a bunch of these, I think it's mostly from EA SHL goalie, he has his own YouTube channel Between the Pipes. And I love that channel, I think it's quite good. Um, but I have my own like tips, my own list, and I'm gonna go through them uh, right now. So here we go, number one, take your favorite goalie and use his stance. Now, my real life stance when I used to play goalie was probably more like a Bob, which I believe is stance number 39, but I feel I play better with stance number 26, which is Jonathan Quicks. Why? It's all mental. If you think you're like a certain goalie, you're gonna act like a certain goalie. So my favorite goalie is Jonathan Quick, therefore I'll be quick like him if I use his stance. Psych yourself up is what we're trying to do here. Try this out if you have not already. Number two, use high camera. The high goalie camera shows the play really well. It also helps as kind of like an angle checker to see whether you need to move or not. In years past, it was actually awesome because it took away the icons so you can see the ice better, but in NHL 22, they brought icons into the game. It's fine because you can still hide the icons in the menus if like this is like the only specific game mode that you play with the game. The only downside to the high camera is if you want to play the puck behind the net, you really can't see very well. You have to kind of press the back button to see where your teammates are and whatnot. But doing that is kind of like a lot, especially if you make a pass or whatnot. But in many cases, there's almost no time. I just kind of send the puck around the boards with the right stick. Or if a teammate is nearby, kind of in my vision, I just arch you to pass to them. Number three, track the skater with the puck and in your peripheral, move your avatar's goalie. Since the game is helpful with the high camera to check your angles, try instead of watching your goalie all the time to watch the shooter, then move your goalie in reaction to the shooter. This may take some time and may take some practice, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Number four, be aggressive. Cut down the angle. This game will screw you if you do stay on the goal line. Once again, one of my favorite goaltenders, Jonathan Quick, he comes out, he challenges the shooter, and that's something that he does, and that's something I used to do in real life as a goalie. So I'm not one of those people that's like a Henrik Lundqvist or a Mike Smith that stays way in the back of the net. Come out, challenge a shooter, cut down the angle, make your saves, stop the goals. Number five, I know a lot of people don't like this, but I use the right stick. Yes, use the right stick. In the last video, I kind of made a build to show how much of a faster goaltender you can be with the right stick. And I've been using the right stick for years. It makes you even faster to stop those cross crease chances. So if you don't want to do it, I understand completely. You can still kind of make saves, but I use the right stick exclusively all the time to stop those cross creases, even like a post to post breakaway save. Uh, I absolutely adore the right stick and I pretty much live, breathe and die by it, but you will probably die by it sometimes. Number six, play the puck. Uh, don't be too stupid and go out when the opponent is kind of like right there and get the puck before you, but. And there's the save. Moves right to the middle, deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. He's got a step. Just misses that wide. There's another stop. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. And we've got a two on one. He scores! We Coming out to play the puck can be super beneficial to push the play forward, stop it from wrapping around on a power play dump in, or just clearing the puck. And that puck leaves the zone. And now it's over to Jeffrey. Takes the feed. Scoops up the puck here. Here they come, three of them. Whoa. And pass, and the play's broken up. And that slides right out to center ice. They've got numbers all alone. Puck doesn't stay in front of the net. It's now in the corner. He doesn't have to worry about fighting another guy for position. They've got the defense outnumbered. Scores! Number seven, use the split V save. Now, when in close, there is absolutely nothing better than using the split V to stop the puck. I actually use this exclusively on breakaways when the shooter is already super close. Now you can be burned by the breakaway. However, you just need to get your timing right. Just use it in practice mode and when that shooter is just super close, just trigger that split V and you're gonna make a save almost all the time. So just know your timing when to use it and use it quite a bit. However, 
If you start using it in game, don't start abusing it because they're gonna know that you do the split V and start going onto other kind of safe situations. Number eight, butterfly when post hugging. Now, when you're post hugging with the right stick, if you're worried about kind of getting sniped off the post because you're holding the right stick, you can hold the right stick still, but then hold RT to manually butterfly. You can still move post to post with the right stick, but you can also let go of the right stick when shooters come from behind the net, so you're a better chance of making that save. Number nine, remember the opponent's tactics. Also remember your own. But when the shooter comes in and you do a successful diving poke check, say for example on a breakaway or a penalty shot, remember that you did that once because they will too. Change it up, mess with their minds, make another save. And number 10, kind of has nothing to do with technical stuff as a goalie, but have fun. This is a game. You're not having a good time, quit. Yes, leave the group of people you're playing with for that night. Play another game if you want to. Join a new group tomorrow that actually maybe play defense. Have fun, man. It's a video game. So that's all I have for you today. Kind of a short, quick video. I hope these tips have helped you out. Try them out in practice mode, drop-ins. Uh, have a great one, guys. Godspeed. And of course, number six, cross crease goals. They will never die. Hopefully, actually, they do. <laughs> people literally stop on a breakaway to get a cross crease guaranteed goal. The culture needs to change. Um, there needs